today's video is going to be a tag video. We decided to make our own tag because we've never made one before and we thought it might be fun. So the tag we made is called the Would You Rather tag and it's the Equestrian Edition. And we tag any other Equestrian YouTubers that want to do it, so let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, would you rather only be able to post the trot for the rest of your life or sit the trot? I think definitely post the trot. I'm just like not very good at sitting the trot. It's gotten easier since we've started riding Rumor. Like his trot's pretty easy to sit, but I'm still like not good at yeah. it. Yeah, I would say post the trot also. Mm -hmm. Number two is, would you rather wear a hot pink show coat in the hunter ring or wear a helmet with your hair down and no hair net in the hunter ring? Um, and that's a really hard one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would probably just keep, like wear my hair down because it would be less obvious. Yeah, like a hot pink show coat would be really obvious, but I think people would maybe know that you're, or would think you're not being serious, so maybe it would be less embarrassing. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'd still probably say the hair one because hot pink you would just stick out like yeah. so obvious. Yeah. Both would be equally embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Number three is, would you rather lick your horse's salt lick or drink from the community water trough? And, um, I don't know. Sometimes community water troughs, like where like a lot of horses are drinking out of the same one, like in a field, can be pretty nasty. Yeah. So I feel like I'd maybe just lick my horse's salt lick. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like it's not really, you're not really like ingesting it as much as like drinking You can water. find like a clean spot on the salt lick. Yeah. <laughs> That's gross. Number four is, would you rather clean your horse's stall with bare feet or touch an electric fence? And that's a hard one, too, because bare feet and cleaning a stall would be pretty gross. Yeah. And I've touched an electric fence before, and it doesn't actually hurt that bad. So Touch a fence, probably. Yeah, I think I would just touch the fence one time. Yeah, it would be like for a shorter duration. You just touch it, you're zapped, and it's done. Yeah. Five is, would you rather cut ten inches off your horse's tail or shave off their forelock? <laughs> And I think I would shave their forelock off. I feel like the <laughs> forelock seems like it grows so slow, but 10 inches off a tail would take a long time to yeah. grow back. That would take like years. Yeah. So what's yeah, your answer? Probably shave the forelock. And then if you're at a show and like your horse's mane is braided, it would be less obvious too. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Six is, would you rather ride a horse that is always under the pace or one that bolts after every jump? I think one that bolts after every jump. Yeah, because like... I don't know, riding under the pace can be dangerous, plus it's annoying to have to be, have your leg on all the time and it's harder to like keep your position and stuff, but yeah, I just like wouldn't jump the horse that bolts all the time. Yeah. <laughs> just avoid the situation. Yeah. No, when you're, when you're, especially when you're jumping, if your horse is always under the pace, that's like dangerous and very annoying feeling. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say the one that bolts. <laughs> Number seven is, would you rather come first in a class of three people or 15th in a class of 50 people? I think definitely 15th in a class of 50 people because then you like actually have competition and actually like truly beat people. Mm -hmm. If you're in a class of three, then maybe the other two people actually really suck and you're not that good either. <laughs> so you just win by default. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like 15th out of 50 is still really good. Yeah. So I think that's more of an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Eight is, would you rather only ride when it's raining or a hundred degrees Fahrenheit? I would only ride when it's raining because I hate riding in the summer, even when it's like like 25 degrees Celsius here, which is not 100. I think that's like 90 or something. Yeah. I hate riding. Or like less than that even. Less yeah. than that, yeah. I would definitely ride in the rain. Yeah. I don't even like riding when it's like 22 degrees. Like if I'm sweating and riding, no. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number nine is, would you rather jump a six foot tall jump or a six foot wide jump? And that's a hard one. I think six foot wide. Yeah. I guess it depends on the horse you're riding. Yeah. Six feet is like really tall though, that's like Olympic level jumping. Yeah, okay. Yeah, six foot wide I guess isn't like yeah, that that's like wide. A, a tall guy lying down. It's pretty like, wide, but I think a horse can yeah. clear it pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. okay, six foot wide. <laughs> Last question is, would you rather ride in jean shorts and tall boots or breeches and flip flops? Um, I think I would rather <laughs> ride in breeches and flip flops just because I feel like wearing tall boots with no pants underneath would be really uncomfortable. And it would look really fun. And riding in shorts in general, I feel like, would be uncomfortable. Yeah. You need to wear pants when you're at the barn. Yeah. I mean, your toes it, could get yeah. stepped on, though. Yeah. <laughs> I would just ride bareback with flip-flops yeah, and breeches. Yeah, probably that. <laughs> so that is the end of our tag. We will leave the questions down below for anyone that wants to do it. Thanks so much for watching.